Hey guys, welcome back. It's Brad here. Hey, today I got a fun video for you guys. Um, and if it's not fun, it should at least be informative. So I, I've been interested for a while in um, some Harley Benton B stocks. I, I don't know what to expect. You know, normally when you look on a on a website like with a manufacturer, if it says it's like B stock, a lot oftentimes they'll put like little pictures of like the little scratches here and there. If it's like you know, around the, the neck joint, like there's a little gap or something you might find like, or so like it's been played. And so you can see the little scratches or demos or whatever. Um, and so you kind of know what you're getting with some of those B stocks from, from, if you order from a different place, I'm not going to name those places right now, but, um, when you order from Toman, at least the Harley Benton's that I saw when you could order their B stocks, they don't show you any picture. So you really have no idea what you're getting so um that's what this video is about like i want to see like what does a harley benton what is a typical harley benton or what just what are some examples because i looked on youtube um and in the forums and stuff and tried to figure out what um what they kind of typically look like and the ones that i saw um it looked pretty good um so i mean who knows though right like I didn't, there wasn't very many of them. And so I wanted to do my part into this like kind of Harley Benton like community and uh, people that, that are interested in these budget guitars um, and just see, is it worth it? Like, because I, I couldn't get a lot of great answers. The ones I saw, they looked pretty good for the most part. Um, nothing that would scare me off from it. So I thought I'd, I'd give it a shot and see what these looked like. And see if it's like a, something that I would want to do again in the future, or is it just worth paying like the extra few dollars? And sometimes it's like ten dollars, you know, which is hardly nothing. Um, in some cases, sometimes it could be more, like thirty, forty dollars. Um, in that case, I mean, anyway, I just want to just throw out some information so that we can all just learn something from this. All right, so I'm taking, I took the risk, and uh, want to see what these models look like. So, um, anyway, I know B stocks aren't for everyone, but here's why I like, I, I'm interested in the B stock one, when I'm buying Harley Benton's like in guitars, just in general, like my philosophy on guitars has, has changed significantly over the last few years. Um, I like just for playing them. And so why I hang up guitars, you know, like wall hangers or, you know, like people that hang up guitars, like I don't hang these up for like aesthetics necessarily. Um, I don't think they look bad, but I hang them up because I play them. Like, and so when I, I just go grab one off the wall, it's so easy just to grab it off the wall and I can just plug it in and, and start jamming. So um, if it's in a case and I have to go pull it out of a closet or whatever, um, I don't play it as often. So this is actually a very functional setup for me, you know, having like easy access to my guitars. And so with that said, I'm not, I'm not buying these necessarily to hang up on the wall. I'm not in buying them for investments. I'm in buying the, I'm buying them as a tool. I'm buying them as like an instrument to just play and to really just, you know, love it and play it and just use it how it's intended. So I always put like dings and stuff in my guitars anyway, like not intentionally, but you know, just things happen. Like in your studio, you bump, into things like you know swiveling around on my little chair like trying to like hit the record button and whatnot and you just like ah <coughs> you know dings happen so having a couple little dings or a couple blemishes if that's all it is i'm totally cool with that and if it saves me you know 20 30 40 dollars like why not like i'm gonna put those dings in there anyway so i just i know it's a risk it you know and these are, are so affordable already you know you can kind of it's like, do I really want to just risk it, you know, or do I just pay an extra, you know, 20 bucks and get one that is supposed to be flawless, which may or may not be, but anyway, but you know, like, um, so anyway, I just wanted to see, and, um, you know, I'll, we can talk more about this, but I, I don't have a problem with having some B stocks, some little scratches in there. Now, Harley Benton does, or like Toman did say on there that, these guitars should be like fully functional. I think they're have the same warranty and everything else as the other guitars. So, um, they should, their playability shouldn't be affected, nor should the, um, 
you know, the sound or anything be affected. So it should just be like some cosmetics, some little blemishes here and there and some, you know, maybe evidence of some wear, maybe a return or something. So, um, yeah, if it's just that, I don't care. I really don't care. And so let's open this up and we'll see what, what I got. I am excited about some of these because I sold a guitar um, last week and I was able to, it was a, a made in Mexico variety from a different manufacturer. Um, and you know, I be able to get like 700 bucks or whatever for it. So it's like, I can order three Harley Bentons for that. And, um, that's what I did. So anyway, I got two B stocks here though. And so let's, let's check out what these B stocks are <laughs> and, uh, let's see what the quality is. All right, let's get going. Okay. Let's, this package actually looks pretty pretty good intact by the way this was like I don't know if this is always um, how they ship things but it the shipping was so incredibly fast it was like almost too fast I was like out of town I was like why is it it's getting shipped in two days from Germany like what's going on so <laughs> the shipping was really fast um, so here it is here they are in here not a lot of packing material um, but who knows so there's one, looks cool, all right. Here's the other. So you see these are, these are the B stocks. I don't know, I didn't think this. They're coloring sheet again. Just a couple sheets of this on the bottom. None really on the top or the sides, in case you were wondering <laughs> what that looked like. All right, so let's, um, which one should we open up first? Let's open this guy. I think I know which one this is, just by the weight of it. nervous okay. I see some blemishes already if that's it I don't care so this is their single cut deluxe go to Line. It feels okay. It feels not bad. Not bad. Okay, first impressions. Not bad. All right. Well, we'll have to like really get this under some close inspection here to see like where all of the the blemishes might be. But just looking at it, looks okay. I know I see a couple things here and there, but the frets feel decent, feels pretty good. Like I don't, that's not the B stock. I mean, we'll, we'll have to play this for a little bit, but it feels every bit like probably as good as like the SC 550 that I had. Um, maybe not quite as good as the Fusion T, but yeah. All right. Well, let's take a look at this one here in a little bit. So I know you guys are probably wondering why shell pink of all things. Well, I don't know if I told you, but I'm going to, I'm going to paint this thing. I'm an artist and that's what I do. And you know, if you like shell pink, rock it. That's cool. Cool for you. I'm going to, I'm going to paint something on here. And so the color itself actually didn't matter at all to me. Um, and so I'm going to, I think it's cool. I never had a pink guitar before. So <laughs> anyway, all right, well, cool. Well, let's just put this one up here. Looks nice. We'll, we'll go over some of these details uh, too. 
Oh, oh there's the, they come with a little Allen wrench. Okay, so not bad. Let's take a look at this guy now. I'm actually really excited about this one. I kind of knew what to expect with that. I think a little bit more. This one, <coughs> Tape shut. Not all of them are always taped shut. So, um, all right. This not even comes with some sort of cable or something. Let's take a look at this. I was not expecting cable. So this is the double bound. Oh, I see it's true. Yeah, I see something in there. If that's the blemish, I don't care. There's a blemish right there. It's pretty easy to see, but I'm gonna put dings in this. Oh, all right. Oh, that neck, ah, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's better than that one. Oh, dude, that's cool. All right, I, that is, that's good news. I'm excited, that's cool. Already, I think this. I think this was good. This was a good purchase. This one for sure. I think that one is too. But when I tell you what this actually costs, you won't. Well, let's see how it works before we get too carried away. Three-way toggle switch seems like it's all check. That seems a little not good. The tone knob seems not good. Maybe. It, Ugh. That is a that is a bad tone knob. I'm just gonna say that it can be fixed probably, but it wasn't feeling it. Not 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 great tone knobs. So that could be the reason for the B stock. Who knows? That and this like there's a little scratch right there. So let's take a look closer look at these here. But that's what that's what was in the box. That's what we got. The neck is nice though. And everything else looks nice, like the body looks nice. This, okay, we'll have to explore that. Light, very light, nice, very nice. Good color, good color on the neck. You know, it's not very, it's not a pale neck. It's like that kind of caramelized look. Nice double bound. The binding looks great. The binding looks better than a lot of guitars I've seen. So. And it's, it's light. I don't know. Let's just, uh, let's take a look at them. All right. So full disclosure, I had to refilm this because I was doing like the, I went to go edit the video and it was just like, all it was all messed up. I think my phone was at max capacity or whatever and it just didn't work. So um, I cleared up some space, some space and um, re-recording this, which is actually good because it lets me like do this like, I think with a slightly more sober mindset, you know, not as like on that, that high from just unboxing it, which you just saw. So this, um, I've lived with this for a couple hours now. I haven't played it for a couple hours. So I've only played it for like 15 minutes or so, but, um, it's really nice, beautiful guitar. There is absolutely like, I'm looking around on here and I'm searching this guitar for anything like that could be considered a blemish and I can't like here's the best I can do so as far as like finding anything and I'm really having to search for imperfection here but like I'm looking up and down these the binding and I'm thinking maybe the only thing is like where the the rosewood fretboard meets the binding it's a little like fuzzy like fuzzy like kind of like not like super clean line so I mean, I don't know if that's normal or typical with other ones. Let me know in the comments. But um, I've had only like two other like bound neck guitars before. Most of mine don't have have binding on the neck. And um, I don't think those ones had it. Um, I could check actually, but I don't, I don't remember seeing like that on there. So if that's it, then my goodness, then we're... If that's if that's what qualifies as B stock these days, we're in we're lucky, okay? Because everything on here is perfect. Like the the, 
pots, everything on here seems like it's great. In fact, I've actually tested them out, but I'm going to show you right now too. So let's take a look at this one and then we'll, um, we will look, actually here, let's take a look at this other one first. But just so you know that, um, that single cut deluxe, the Goto, um, sounds great. And I'll, I'll just do a quick demo for sound so you guys can experience that. This guitar, <clears throat> look at this. Beauty, another beauty. It's only got like smudges, like fingerprint smudges. There is one, I don't know if it's gonna show up. I'm gonna try to get it in here. Yeah, you can see it right there. That's in the paint. That's not, um, it's like a little scratch. Um, that's not a finger smudge. All right, so that's the only cosmetic thing wrong with this. This neck is amazing, by the way. Like, this neck is a 10 out of 10. And not just for a budget guitar. This is a 10 out of 10 on any guitar. I mean any guitar. Like, it is unreal. Now, some of this is subjective. Like, do you like the shape of it? Like, this is, you know, kind of that, that soft... D shape or whatever. I don't remember exactly how they call it, but it's really comfortable. Um, it's not super thin. It's not chunky. It's not chunky at all. Um, it's about right, you know? Um, so let's, we'll, we'll demo this out. Now, here's what the thing is. So this was, these are like normally about 150 bucks um, going right now on Toman. I got this one for 119. And so this was a bigger discount. So you know, you're thinking like 30 bucks off or whatever. Um, okay, so what's wrong with this one? Did I just get lucky? Did I just hit the jackpot for one little scratch? Is that worth 30 bucks? <laughs> I, yeah, I put dings and stuff in my guitars all the time. So um, a little scratch like that for 30 bucks off of a, off of a $150 guitar. Uh, yeah, sign me up for that every day of the week, you know, um, so, but what the problem is with this one, and you guys will experience it, like it's, it's in here. And so like I, I, this is a little loose. This is tight and weird. It just doesn't feel good. Um, three way switch feels fine. Um, works fine. But this pot in particular, there's something wrong with it. I haven't taken it apart yet. Uh, I'm going to probably do that. Um, maybe tonight or tomorrow. But um, I'll do a little playthrough. But essentially, it, it does work. And I'll show you that here in just a moment. But um, this is, is a great feeling neck. The guitar, no other flaws. I mean, it is, the double binding is uh, nice. Back is flawless. It's perfect. Looks great. The tuners, um, there, there's nothing wrong with them. They are a little tight. These, I like the vintage, these vintage style tuners. Um, I love them in a lot of my other guitars. Um, these ones are a little bit, they work, but they're, they're a little hard to move. Um, I guess that's the best way I can describe them. So they're not jumpy or anything. They're just like, they're really tight. You got to kind of wrench on them a little bit uh, more than I, I would like to. So I'm not going to replace those, but I, I think I'm gonna have to upgrade the wiring in here. Now, some people do that anyway. So if that's what you were planning on doing, getting a, a big discount off a of B stock, man, you just hit the jackpot. But um, it is kind of unfortunate because I think if you if you were just to get this, you know, expecting everything to work properly, because they do say that when you on the Toman website, there's like it's fully functional. It just should be just some blem, you know, signs of use or whatever. Um, this one really seems to me like it's more, um, down here. Now it does work. I'll show you that it works, but it's not going to work for long. <laughs> so I don't know if that's why they discounted it. And I don't really have any insight as to, you know, why certain models are discounted more than others or whatever it looks like. You know, it was $10 off that one, off of, of a $250 guitar ish. This one's like a $150 guitar-ish, and it's $30 off. So go figure. Um, this one is 
in worse shape because of this. I mean, otherwise, it's, it's great. All right, so let's take a look to see how these sound. I'm not gonna do a full demo, just so you can kind of hear the sound. It's coil split, just in the middle, full pickups. Obviously, lot sounds a lot more full with the with the humbucker mode. I think both sound good though. Um, but there's nothing wrong with this um, as a B stock. There's the only thing that maybe makes it not sound as good is it's me playing it. So I mean, it's totally totally great. Um, So we're back here. Um, I didn't change any of the dials on my katana here. It's it's where everything was. So um, I just put it back on the clean channel so we can hear it. Um, there is this guitar, like I said, cosmetically, it is fantastic. I love this neck. This neck is worth the price of the guitar alone. It really is. Um, it's it. I don't want to oversell it. Like, I think I was, in my first initial reaction, I was like overselling. I was like, this is better than, look, I will, you can, everyone has different preferences. Okay, like, I, I get that, you know, um, with necks. But, like, objectively, like, just totally objectively, like, regard, irregardless of, like, the, you know, the, the shape of it, like, because, you know, some people like thick ones, thin ones, or, you know, C shape, this is the D shape. Um, so, whatever you think about that, I'm not talking about that because I like that's 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 a preference thing but the the dressing of this this feels like someone I don't know maybe someone <laughs> got it and like dressed all the frets and made it perfect like perfectly level and you know they they dressed it and then they decided no I'm just gonna send it back because this is unreal and I'm not saying they're all gonna be like this I'm sure they're not they can't be um, they just can't be. But this one in particular is amazing. This is better than the Fusion T <laughs> that I got. And that, and I love that neck. That neck was great. This neck on the uh, the Goto, uh, the, the Deluxe, is really good. I'm not complaining about that one at all. This one is better. I'm not saying the shape is better. I mean, because that's a preference. And I don't know if I like the shape, but I don't, I'm not, that's, I'm just talking about like the dressing of these frets it is, I, it's got a good edge. Like it's not like rolled off. It, it's not sharp, but you, you can feel it. Like you can feel like you're not searching for the frets. You can, you can feel them, but they're not th like, you just, they're just like the perfect amount. Like you can just like, Oh, that's where that, that is. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't catch in any way. Um, it's not like you're searching for them, like, you know, like sometimes certain necks are, and I don't like that. Um, so it's just, it's really well done. But what's the problem with this one? Why is it B stock? Okay, down here. So let's just see how this, I should probably have tuned this. Uh, let's just go with it for now. Here's the volume. It's really like sticky not smooth at all um it might not show up in the video of like how hard that is to turn <laughs> it just it's not good um this is even worse in fact i'm not even going to move this right now because i think i'm going to break it and i just would rather not break it i just keep it like in working order but i think if i move this it's so hard like the whole thing jiggles and it's like it's it's tough to turn anyway so um, i might be able to take this this um, control plate off and you know see what the, the problem is I might just be able to tighten things up and it might resolve itself um, I kind of think that it's not going to so there's that so anyway let's just Those. <laughs> I always forget. I'm just trying to just show you sounds. Uh, I 
It sounds like a Telecaster. I mean, the pickups, I might end up replacing them just because I'm going to tear all this out. But I might just put um, new wiring in here and new pots. Um, you know, I don't know. These sound pretty good. I don't I don't think spending, you know, $100 is or whatever, you know, or more on new pickups is going to make the difference. I mean, I'm halfway tempted. I know I can pick some up, like decent pickups for, you know, for these. But I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I think they probably sound just fine. Um, let's get this in tune really quick. You know, um, thanks for watching the video, you guys. Um, I love these guitars. Um, just final thoughts on this. Um, you know, B-Stock guitars, I'm not trying to sell you on, on any of them. Um, I'm not trying to sell you on any guitar at all. I don't have any affiliate links. You can't, you can't buy anything from me. Um, so, you know, if you like the, the channel or you like the stuff or you can even see some of my other art projects and things that I do on here, you can um, subscribe and that's appreciative, um, you know, and like or whatever if you if you like it. Um, but yeah, I'm not here to sell you anything and I don't, I'm not trying to convince you to buy another guitar if you have several guitars. If you don't have a guitar and you're shopping for one, your first one, okay, now we're talking. Um, Buying B stock, maybe I think it's a possibility. I would probably not at this at this price. I love this guitar, so if you can find a B stock that's maybe just discounted a little bit off Harley Benton, <laughs> you know, like a ten dollar discount, um, you're probably pretty safe. And in all honesty, like they do say that they're gonna, it's just blemishes and stuff. They're not supposed to have um, any like working issues, like playability or anything that's not they have a warranty i think they still have their warranty and stuff so b stock is probably um a relatively safe bet and if it doesn't work or whatever you can always send it back um you know buying you know again if you're buying um your first guitar the used market is really great too um, i just sold um one of my guitars to buy these three guitars uh, but i bought that guitar for like 250 bucks and you know, when you buy them low like that, um, they just, that happened to be a, a different brand that has, um, that people really like. And so sometimes, you know, people buy brands because they, they'll hold their value in a way. And I just, um, so there's nothing wrong with buying, you know, like Gibson or Fender because people will still pay like a premium to have that name. And, um, and I did, I think for a while, like I, I, I was really, um, you know, my first guitar was a Washburn, <laughs> and it wasn't really, it wasn't really great, but it, it was fine. And then I ended up getting a Fender Telecaster, American Telecaster, and it was, it was great. Um, but I ended up selling it um, years ago um, when I had my first son, and my wife and I, we, we did a little baby moon to Nashville or whatever, and um, needed to just have some extra cash. And so we got rid of, I got rid of that guitar ironically selling a telecaster to go to nashville right but you know what i got one back all right and so it's um i like the neck on this one better than that american telecaster and i'm not kidding now the electronics and everything else in the in the fender <laughs> were better um but i think for the price i can get some better wires and some pots in there for you know anywhere from maybe under under 80 bucks let's just say that that would be like top of the line stuff so anyway i'll be able to fix that and have a have another really classical great telecaster again in my arsenal because i haven't had one since then i've had a couple other telecasters so i have that but that's for another video maybe i'll we'll talk about that some other time but um yeah i just think like um 
if you if you're looking for you can buy one used and like if you buy um, like one like a fender or something you can sell them because of the fender name uh, but just also uh, there's a, the flip side of that you know if you buy a thousand dollar guitar and let's say it holds like let's say fenders hold 90 percent of their value I mean they do go up like if you hold them for a really long time I suppose with inflation and everything too um, but you know uh, if you lose like let's say you you can sell it for 90 percent of this value which you can't really but let's say you can so you buy a thousand dollar guitar fenders made in Indonesia now a thousand dollars it's true um, I just saw it today um, so let's say you get 900 bucks for it or 800 bucks for it so you're getting 80 90 percent of your money back so you spend a thousand you sell it you get 800 900 for it well you just lost two hundred dollars you you buy this guitar for under two hundred dollars you give it away <laughs> you know, and you're still you're still on top you know like like oh it doesn't hold Harley Benz don't hold their value who cares <laughs> you know like who cares right and so that's the beauty of it and so um, again I just like guitars like they're tools to me now I don't really care about the status symbol like I have some I've had some nice guitars and I don't really care like I'm not impressed by the headstock name or anything like that it's all about the feel now and maybe that's just me getting old and I don't care about stuff like that anymore um, but I love I, this is a great guitar and I honestly I, I don't I'm having second thoughts about painting it it's just it's so nice like I, I don't even want to ruin it with my own artwork now it's almost too nice to paint um, but I'm going to why not if I don't like it I'll buy another one because I I know there will be another one of these available for 250 bucks that is just a smoking deal and so anyway if you're looking for your, your first guitar or you're looking for another like supplemental guitar like if you have a Telecaster and don't have humbuckers because you got to probably hear some of the different sounds um, like you know getting one of these I think it's a not a bad idea or if you didn't have a traditional Telecaster like I, I didn't have you know a $200 uh, or less investment uh, not bad and if you don't like it you can always give it away to someone that's just starting off so uh, I'll probably do that maybe at some point unless I just really can't part with it because that neck is so awesome anyway please um, share the, the main reason for making this video is I wanted to know about the B stocks and so this is just again I, I was hoping for like a community kind of project that we could all just share in um, how are your B stocks so if you got a B stock Harley Benton and you made a video thank you because I watched it probably um, if you uh, if you have a Harley Benton B stock make a video show us what it looks like show us like was it a good value or not or if it was just leave comments below like if you had a horror story and it's like oh, I had to get rid of it it was just too terrible leave that comment below um, but yeah I'd like to know more about like other people's experience with the B stocks because I think we had two pretty good B stock stories this one perfect like it's not a big discount you know paying an extra ten dollars to get one blemish free might be worth it to you I was gonna paint it so it didn't matter to me at all and I happen to not have any blemishes anyway so I'm happy that one uh, you know I think if I were buying this new again if it was me I'm not gonna send it back because I like the neck but if it was me I think I would pay the extra thirty dollars to have <laughs> you know the better like electronics and stuff like it just it's not it's not right something something went wrong in there the little scratch in there doesn't matter but I think that's why it was more heavily discounted but who knows I don't know the inner workings of, of Harley Benton so if you do please let me know and let's let's just have a group discussion so leave those comments and um, we can learn from each other take care guys um, catch you next time oh yeah catch you next time and see what I do with this thing see my painting It'll be cool, hopefully. All right. If not, I'll have to sell it and buy a new one. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.